Who's uh, hi, everybody. This is my friend Lynn, and I'm going to be babysitting. Fishy sitting. Fishy sitting. Fishy yes. sitting. So, what fish did you bring? All right, so all these fish are really old. I work mostly with people with disabilities, so all these guys have been disabled in some way. They Aww. have eye issues, or uh, one had a long standing broken back kind of scoliosis thing <laughs> going on. He just passed, but most of these are eight plus years old. Oh, wow. And they're really cool or were unwanted in some way. Most of them are blind. So come along with me, Susie Q. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie, and today we're going to be taking a look at this one. <laughs> hello. And you say, hello. Hello. That's right. You're going to be taking a look at this 120 gallon freshwater aquarium. Up till a week ago, this had my Oscar named Oscar, and a pleco that was given to me uh, not too long ago to house in a larger aquarium than they were already in. So I got a call from my friend Lynn asking if I could foster some of her fish. She has some fish at a work site that's been closed down during this pandemic. They're also going to be moving their work site location. So she asked, there's a good chance that uh, she's going to need somebody to foster her fish for her for a while. And uh, she had called me about a month ago. So I had put in these clay pots to start the process of acclimating my Oscar to change. Um, even when I do a water change, she'll lay on the bottom and pout. Like most Oscars, she gets a little sensitive. Hmm, don't you? So, and I got these gorgeous flower pots from Elizabeth at One Fish, Two Fish ROC. So we both thought they'd be great for a tank for a cave. So I had started putting the caves in to get it ready. And she gave me a call last week and said, I'm going to have to ask if we can come over with some fish because we're speeding up the process. So absolutely. So she came over with some fish and explained a few things about the fish and where they came from. Uh, hi everybody, this is my friend Lynn, and I'm going to be babysitting. Fishy sitting. Fishy sitting. Fishy yeah. sitting. So what fish did you bring? Alright, so all these fish are really old. I work mostly with people with disabilities, so all these guys have been disabled in some way. They Aww. have eye issues, or uh, one had a long standing broken back kind of scoliosis thing <laughs> going on. He just passed, but most of these are eight plus years old. Oh, wow. And they're really cool or were unwanted in some way. Most of them are blind. So I'm hoping wow. that, that they're cool with your guy because they probably won't even be able to see him. And he looks <laughs> pretty scared of everything. Yeah, he's kind of like not happy right now with us. So we'll see what happens. But I appreciate you taking them. And what happens if one of them doesn't make it? Uh, well, you know, I mean, that's introducing a new fish to a new tank. That's always the worry. And yeah. these guys have, unfortunately, because of COVID, been a little neglected as is. Oh, so, right. Oh, my know, gosh. Yeah. yeah. They've kind of been home alone since March, almost. Aww. And we go in there and we feed them. And that's it. Yeah. Them. And then we started to acclimate the fish. We started acclimating her fish to this water. So we took a couple of picture, a couple of pictures worth of water out of their um, tubs and started putting in this water to get them used to it. Now one of her fish, one of the tinfoil barbs, had jumped out from a great, great bit of distance and smashed their head on the pavement. So, um, They've had perpetual Popeye for a long time, and it seems to be not being able to be resolved. But when she took this dive onto the cement, she knocked herself out and popped her Popeye. This fish was already pretty old and only had one good eye. So we weren't sure if she was going to make it. And she was kind of swimming upside down or lying on her side. So we weren't sure that tinfoil barb was going to make it. We were going to try anyway. So while her fish were acclimating, so while her fish were acclimating to the, my water, Lynn had also brought over a lot of rock and stone to build caves. I did bring a bunch of rocks to make like little homes. Beautiful. So maybe that'll help. I'm thinking it will stress. help. I'm going to get this a little bit more buried. Yeah. So she used some round rock and flat rock to build to build three separate caves plus the two ceramic pots that we already had in there. So we were thinking 
five hiding spots plus this big huge driftwood would be a very good start. So I watched while Lynn built these caves and she did it so quickly and eloquently and made sure they weren't going to topple over on any fish. I was very impressed. And then we started adding fish. Fingers crossed. All right, bud. Run we'll get some for your water. life. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see how you do here. First one's the best. Yeah. You good? You're gonna go right side up. Well, that's good. That's good. Oh, is he totally blind? Yeah, the tinfoil bars are totally blind. I'll probably boop your Oscar on the butt and scare the crap out of him. I'm waiting. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a good sign now. He looks a little happy in there. And you can see this is the eye that had the problem. I actually wonder if, since all the pus came out of that eye, maybe that maybe he can see you a little yeah. bit better. His, his okay. friend's going to knock himself okay. out, too. Gotcha. Such a... And they've just been like this for years. And like I said, nothing has made that Popeye go away. No not the salt baths, no nothing. Your Oscar doesn't give to about any of them. No, not yet. Uh-oh. As he turns up, now he's giving him an eye. Now he's giving an eye. It's like, yeah, what is he, all this activity? Now he sees him. Uh oh. <laughs> Check it out. Just check it out. Oh, just looking, just looking. This one is so sad. I know. I want him to go inside a pot. I know. This other buddy seems to be doing alright. Go follow your friend. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, you see? Another one stuck sideways like a dweeb. Go! You, this is the most you'll ever see of that Raphael catfish, by the way. He will go find one of those caves and then that's that. You're gonna plop and drop. Yep. One? That's they're good. Everybody's in there. Pretty Nobody's good. eating. Look at him like <laughs> get me out of here. How, how did I go from being my like by myself to all these? Look fish? how beautiful. I'm missing one. Where's the little guy? Oh, uh, the little guy went in there. Nobody ate him. <laughs> He's probably hiding already. Where are you going? A little Texas. <laughs> In there oh, there he is. He's already in one of the. Uh, oh yeah, there. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. He's got a beautiful. Blue that's a eye Texas on the one. I, That's what it was sold to me as. So whether or not it is, I couldn't tell you. But that's how it was sold to me. He's like yellow though, or is that just because he's been in he's there? He's discolored. He's discolored from stress. He, he'll get a beautiful dark color and like really bright green. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, we got one chilling in a pot. Yeah, he'll he'll color up. He's oh, he's got a beautiful. beautiful blue eye too on the good side. Oh, really cool little creatures, man. You know, and the guys at work love them because you know they're they're all the little misfit fish that nobody wants, and they kind of like oh, yeah. connect with that, you know. <laughs> yeah, that makes you a misfit too. <laughs> they're so <laughs> cool. Look at them. <laughs> So I guess at night, when I turn this off, maybe, there we go, less glare. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, good luck. <laughs> so cool, but you don't see all the catfish. Oh, there it is. And when you try to introduce, when you try to introduce fish, 
into an existing aquarium, it's always good practice to make sure you got a block of time set aside so you can really observe what's going on. Um, I sat by this tank all night until I fell asleep and because I just don't, I didn't know what was going to happen. Oh, I didn't go. know how my fish were going to react. I didn't know how her fish were going to react. Huh? So we started putting in the fish one at a time. And as we put them in, we noticed that Oscar seemed to be okay, if not indifferent, which is fine, which just means she wasn't overtly aggressive. But that doesn't mean she wasn't going to get aggressive because Oscars are very slick like that. And except for this cichlid. Not sure what kind of cichlid it is. Uh, she was told it's a Texas cichlid, but it's obviously not with the bull nose and all. Might be a, a Dohero or, uh, um, and then I asked some of my fishy friends and, and they kind of agreed along the same lines is that it's definitely not a Texas cichlid. But this little fish went right up and confronted the Oscar. I thought, oh, this could be a problem. This fish could be a problem and I fell asleep. There was absolutely no issues. I woke up the next morning. There were no issues. I was very happy. Not quite the same as what happened the next night. So stay tuned and see what happened when I woke up the next morning. Thanks guys and I will see you next time. Hey everybody is Susie Q. Hey everybody is Susie Q. Na na hey everybody is Susie Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.